Hey everyone, it's Jen from Caddis Scrap Designs again. So I had just put a video out on one of my thrift haul finds of a wall pe uh, wallpaper book that I had found and I've never been able to find that before. This is one of the pages that I actually took from it and I created this. This is my first time creating a junk journal with wallpaper. Don't know how I did, you guys could let me know. I know that there are better ways to use the wallpaper and I would love for anybody to comment and let me know um, what they do and how they do it. But so I did it in like a little pouch style. This will fit in your pocketbook, um, your purse. I have a little bead here, a couple of beads um, on a pin and I wrapped it around in fabric that I did echo dyeing on with rose petals and I have a video on that if you want to check that out that's what that, that that's where this came from so it's not a fully embellished journal <clears throat> um, I did put a ticket holder in the front page <clears throat> excuse me because it was um, I had a mauve one there and I just figured it kind of went with the book the majority of the pages here um, all have clusters um, with words on them and I do sell the clusters in my store as well this book will be for sale in my Etsy shop so let's go through it this opens up this is a paper that I had made coffee dyed um, with color that was a little experiment I had done this one doesn't have a sentiment on it but <clears throat> Matte page. This is um, Easter color paper, copy dyed paper. Some of the um, clusters on the side you could use as a tuck because I left it open on one side. Line copy dyed paper. You'll see that some of the pages are skinnier than others. This is a little piece of graph paper that just opens up like that. Book page, coffee dyed paper that opens up as well. Graph paper, little experiment on, um, I don't even remember what it was. It was some type of mica spray I used. Um, kid paper, line paper, gracious. This was more, um, dyed paper I was experimenting on. More book page from a flower book. This is the middle of the signature. This page opens up. You got your kid uh, line paper here. That opens up a little bit. The other half of the graph paper. Um, heart. The cluster. Copy dyed paper, the flower book page, the graph paper that opens up. This is actually very old. Got that at a thrift store as well. Copy dyed paper, make yourself proud. Copy dyed paper. This is Easter color paper. This opens up. Another cluster on coffee dyed paper on one of the shorter pages. Again, you could use this as a tuck spot. Inspire. Matte paper. This is actually, I coffee dyed this. This is an old, old um, book that I had gotten from a thrift store as well. I really didn't even have to coffee dye it because it was, it had its yellow around the edges, but I did coffee dye some of them. Um, here is a tuck spot with some um, ruffled fabric. This page opens up. The other part of that experimental paper I used, I just thought it came out really pretty. And this is the end of the book. And then we have a little notepad in the back that has all different sizes of pages, different widths, a bunch of different papers in here to do a little bit of notes. So I will have all of the information, the um, sizes, how many pages they are um, listed in my Etsy shop if you're interested. 
and want to know or interested in purchasing this, um, I will have that up later on tonight. The video will probably be aired first. If you have any questions, please let me know. Once again, I appreciate you looking at my channel and my video. If you like this journal, please give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it, trying to build my channel. And if you'd like to see more of what I'm making, I'm gonna be doing that on a weekly basis. Um, probably not in the next couple of weeks because I'm gonna be having surgery. But after that, I'll be back um, with more videos. And um, if you wanna see them, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys and have a great day. Bye.